Jake Ludington here at IBM Impact, and I'm here with Adam Kaiser of Local Motors. And one of the things that is inescapable at Impact is the Internet of Things. And behind us, we have a highly connected car. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so uh, we uh, partnered with Intel and are using some pretty uh, cool technologies to connect to the cloud and uh, basically make our car talk to other cars in uh, re basically real time. So we're basically using a simple Galileo board uh, from Intel onboard computer and and uh, when you get into a situation like where it's raining the uh, wipers will automatically turn on headlights will turn on and then it'll broadcast that information around the car so other drivers uh, can prepare you know for emergency services or weather conditions things of that nature and I was kind of uh, positioning this as, as Waze on steroids yeah. uh, because Waze does a lot of crowdsourced reporting, but this is, this is crowdsourced without the crowd having to take action? Right, exactly. So taking all the, all the great things about Waze, but basically keeping the, the driver concerned with driving and not reporting. So the car is automatically doing all these things, uh, and the driver, all they have to do is pay attention to a simple warning on the dash, and they can, they can be prepared. And now, I mean, things like having the wipers turn on, is cool, and, and then informing other cars is cool, but there's, there's got to be a bigger picture to this than, than just uh, very simple actions with the car. Right, so I, the ultimate goal and really what they're trying to achieve is, is predictive maintenance is what they're calling it. So, you know, for systems that would directly affect your safety, uh, like for example, if, if you're running with brake pads that literally have no more pad left, the system could tell you when you're at like, you know, 15, 25, 30 percent pad life left and literally direct you to the nearest uh, repair facility, that's really where it starts to get cool. I would think there would be another scenario where if you start to see uh, multiple cars that are experiencing the same issue, maybe a, a recall gets right. issued faster. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's all, all data that's all collected and, you know, it can be reported very quickly and, and massive recalls can be avoided. So now is this something that uh, developers could be uh, building additional solutions on top of? Are these hackable cars? Um, right now, it's all proof of concept uh, in terms of hacking. Haven't really had any issues, but yeah, I mean it's, I mean it's open, and I mean the sky's the limit in terms of what what can be done with very little technology. And I should have used that that <laughs> term a little more carefully. I don't mean hacking as in right, the sense right. will bad things happen to the car, right. but can people do creative things yes, with the car? Yes, you can get creative with it. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Thanks, Harry. Right, thank you. Appreciate it.